March 21, Saturday of the third week of Lent, a proclamation from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Jesus addressed this parable to those who were convinced of their own righteousness and despised everyone else. Two people went up to the temple area to pray. One was a Pharisee and the other was a tax collector. The Pharisee took up his position and spoke this prayer to himself. O God, I thank you that I am not like the rest of humanity, greedy, dishonest, adulterous, or even like this tax collector. I fast twice a week and I pay tithes on my whole income. But the tax collector stood off at a distance and would not even raise his eyes to heaven, but beat his breast and prayed, O God, be merciful to me, a sinner. I tell you, the latter went home justified, not the former, for everyone who exalts himself will be humbled, and the one who humbles himself will be exalted. The Gospel of the Lord to the temple area to pray. It is the Jewish tradition to pray three times a day, mid-morning, midday, and mid-afternoon. The devout believe that their prayer will be particularly efficacious if done in the temple courtyard. Thus, in Jesus' parable, two people go up to the temple to pray, a Pharisee and a tax collector. The Pharisee does not pray to God. He is more focused on himself. He does not ask himself how he appears in God's eyes. Rather, he tells God all the good things he has accomplished. All the good things he accomplishes. He goes on to deprecate others, especially the tax collector. The tax collector, however, remains at the distance does not even raise his eyes to heaven, and in humility prays, O God, be merciful to me, a sinner. His prayer comes from a repentant, humble heart, and it wins him acceptance before God. We learn much about prayer from Jesus' parable. Prayer begins in a humble recognition of our need for God's mercy. Prayer avoids being judgmental of others. True prayer comes from a broken, humble heart, and God hears such prayer. How can I grow in authentic prayer during this Lenten season?